Welcome back, guys. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing. Truly appreciate it. So today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be replacing airbags in the X5. So if you have the M suspension or if you have uh, added on suspension, you will have the airbag suspension that goes up and down when the air compressor fills it up. Uh, the issue I've been seeing is about two and a half years ago, BMW ended up replacing one as a goodwill gesture and covered about 75 or something off it. But this one has gone bad and they only replaced one at that time. So what I found out, this has to be replaced because I'll show you in a minute why. But then if you don't replace it with the BMW part, you got to replace both. You cannot do one because the aftermarket and BMW, BMW parts are not one to one. This is for 2014 to 2018 BMW X5 F15. It's the same procedure for the E70s, the older model of the BMWs. So <clears throat> what I did was I took a soapy water in a spray bottle and I sprayed it here. As you can see, this is bubbling, which means it's leaking from here. Obviously over time, these are the original air, comp uh, air suspension uh, shocks. And this is about going on seven years now. So this is leaking and I can hear a little bit too and then bubbly as well. So this is bad. This has to be replaced. If you walk on the other side of the car, <clears throat> you guys will notice, this is what BMW replaced, I believe in 2020 sometime, uh, Q2 of 2020. I sprayed on here, there's no leak, this is cold, good. But since I'm replacing the other side, I also have to replace this side. So what we're gonna do is there are two things you need to do um, before we can get started. You can either do it the ISTA way, which is hook it up to the computer and put the car in service mode, and then you can deflate the rear suspension, but I don't have it. Yes, I could have gotten the software, but I didn't do it. So what I'm gonna do is actually take out the <clears throat> fuse, which is 110 in the back, and then also the lines run here. You don't have to remove all of this. If you have the X5, your air compressor, uh, lines and the switch is like right about here. So only have to remove this side and I'll show you. Um, so let's get started and I'll show you what I'm talking about. If you come in the trunk, open up this panel, which I did, it's a simple handle. Uh, this is your fuse box. If you remove this paper from here, you will notice the 110 is listed in here, which is on this side. What you have to do is remove this 40 fuse. So you can do it by hand or you can do it with a fuse puller. Take this off and just pull this out that's all you need to do i'm going to leave it here so i don't forget it i want to put this back in here again if you're looking at it it's the second last one here not the last one second last one the last one is 111 keep that in mind okay. so the right underneath the driver's uh, passenger seat on the us model this is your air compressor lines that are running so you need to unplug this and unplug this before we can get these two red and blue. Keep in mind the red is your driver's side, blue is your passenger side. If you were doing the original BMW replacement, you can do one or the other, but I'm doing both, so I need to deinflate both of them. So one goes off, set it aside. The second goes off. Um, and now I need to get in there and do this. So to get this out, I got it out. Uh, what you need is you can use a flathead or you can use a plier to push in on the tabs. I'll show you from underneath. Uh, the best way I find it from here because you can go directly underneath. The frame is there. 
squeeze it, squeeze the two tabs that you see down here, underneath here, and then on the bottom of this, I took a little tap from a hammer and it came loose. Um, so now we're gonna do is turn it counterclockwise. And get it out. There it goes. It came out. Uh, it's really easy to get out. Just getting there is a problem. Um, be careful. So these are what goes in clockwise, counterclockwise. Take it off counterclockwise, put it in clockwise. We're going to unscrew this, put the new ones in, the new ones. So this is the old one. Um, just to compare it, this is the new one. We're going to take this cap, put it on top, and then put our, the airlines and everything else in. But this is the aftermarket. That's the original one. It's a little different than other ones. So stay tuned. Sorry for the bad angling, but I'm gonna basically take this off. And then if you guys are wondering, I'll put the BMW part down below if you guys wanna use the BMW parts only as well. So this comes out. So, I mean, as you can see, I did twist it a little bit. Um, probably not going to use it because a new one is there, but just be careful when you take it off. And this comes off this way. Pull this off and the old one comes out. So now if you actually want to see it side by side, let me take this off. That's a good question. How does this come on? So obviously one is inflated a little. So there's little difference between the BMW and the other one. Um, yeah, this doesn't go any further, but you can see there's about a half inch difference. Um, same thing difference here and there too. So if you want to replace it, I'm replacing with our R knots um, A2642. Replace it with BMW. You can replace one if you have to, but they always recommend repla replacing in pairs. Uh, I'm replacing both because I'm replacing with aftermarket. So here we go. So this is the new one, put the cover back on, line up the hole because that's where the airline is going to run through. Um, wish I had a better angle to show you guys, but I don't. So Okay, it's going to be fine. So now it comes in, in here. So what you're going to do is, New one, you're gonna put this on. Okay. Here is this one, the new one. So I ended up tightening, tightening the ring, the O-ring here, tightening the bolt, attaching the wire, putting the cover back on, putting it here. Um, just have to feel it on the driver's side, the two prongs are this way, 
closer on this side versus this side. Put it up, feel it, and twist and turn it. And now uh, it's in there. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, obviously there's no way you can pull this down. Even if you try, I think there's only a little bit it will give you. So. So there it goes in. So what you're gonna do is there are two tabs underneath here that you're gonna squeeze from both sides. Once you do this squeezing on both sides, it should come loose and then you can lift it up. Again, remember, um, I had to tap it on the other side. This is the other side that's good. So I, it has been on for about two and a half years. So I might have to tap this to remove it as well. Uh, once we do it, I'll try to put it on a tripod and leave the camera running, okay. Okay, so this was the passenger side. You saw us just a second ago, remove it from bottom. So this is, it's loose. So if you're ever wondering, it's good here. Um, this is not loose. It's just how it is because it's counterclockwise, clockwise. If you look in the camera, there's a blue line where my finger is pointing. This means it's a passenger side. The other side was a red side. So now what I want to do is replace this with a new one. Uh, I'll put the video in fast forward so you can see it and I won't do the talking, talking anymore. So one thing to note here, um, if you try to pay attention, there's a thick side and this side is a thinner side. The thinner side goes in, 
the thick side is the one that stays out facing you because it's going to go right in here. And then the bolt will come push and get it tied up. If you have a problem running, putting this on, what I notice on the other side, I put a little bit of WD-40 slides a little better. Or if you notice on the bottom, how there's a little opening, put a flat head and then turn a little bit to open it up. That's one thing you can do as well. done is we put the second one back in the new one and came back here attached the blue and red lines attached the two connection points and basically since the car has been sitting I didn't see the air coming on so what I did was I ran the car you can hear the air come up and fill the tire uh, airbags the air suspension on the back I have not closed this yet I'm just waiting to make sure it fills up first and then I'll close it but let me just see because if you look here the airbag they're not fully filled up yet. So, plus the car's on jacks as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to close that. Once I close it, um, once I close it, I wanna see what happens because it may be because it's sitting on the jack stand, the leveler is not let, letting it level up. So, so what I wanted to show you guys, which I missed it, the car was dropped all the way down and now it's going, suspension is going back up slowly, slowly and you can see it's still rising. I missed the video. So now I see the air compressor has shut off and this is the right height. So this is how it looked like on both sides. It's back up to the normal height. <laughs> 